We also know a tornado flattened some homes in St. Charles County. This is the damage left behind in defiance taken from our Skylands 5 drone. The area near Highway 94 and Highway F was hit the hardest. At least one person died and two others were hurt. Alex Fees has been talking to people who live in that area and Alex, they have a, a really big cleanup to deal with right now, right? They do, Michelle, and darkness did not provide much relief for residents here who spent most of the daylight hours today surveying damage to their property. Severe weather cleanup doesn't stop Saturday night when the sun goes down for Dalton Schmidt working on his parents' property. We got pretty lucky, just a bunch of trees down, a couple on our fence, but nothing damage to our house or anything like that. So no barns damage, nothing like that. So we got lucky. Within five seconds, everything was gone. This is all that's left of the home Rich Vance shared with his wife, Marsha. The two took cover in the basement when the storm hit and hit hard Friday night. So obviously the house is gone, but there's personal items like wedding albums and that kind of stuff that we're trying to find and some work related items we got to try and find so, so can keep doing business. Next door, another house blown off its foundation. Here, first responders say an 84 year old husband and wife were both blown out of the house and on a nearby property. Relatives say the woman later died from her injuries. When the sirens go off, go to your basement because that is all that's left of this house over here is the basement. Skylands 5 video shows the extent of the damage in the area. New Melly Fire Chief Dan Casey says in one case, a barn collapsed, trapping one person and five horses. So that was a, a large rescue operation we had to get those uh, those horses out of there. We did have two horses perished and, and we were able to take three to a veterinary hospital. County Executive Steve Elman says crews here are inspecting those damaged homes to make sure they are safe for residents to re-enter. As many as 25 houses here were damaged. Live tonight in St. Charles County, Alex Fees, 5 on your side.